Hi, this is Travis from POSGuys.com. Today we're taking a look at the TP6 from POSX. This is the successor for the TP4, uh, the new flagship for their all-in-one computers for point of sale. It is smaller than the TP4. It has a lot of the same great features, metal construction, uh, very sturdy, uh, the great turnaround and warranty on the computers. Um, and it does all that with flexibility of different processors, different hard drives, different memory configurations. So you can kind of scale down, scale up the all-in-one to meet your software needs. Um, the big change on it is it's really gotten a lot thinner and a lot more modern. If you take a look at the profile view, you can compare how thick the old uh, TP4 was, which is a great mobile computer, it, or a great all-in-one computer. Uh, it's very tankish, so the new one is still very sturdy, but it's much thinner. Additionally, the old one had a single hinge base, so you could tilt it up, you could tilt it down, and that was it. The new one has a double hinge base, so you could tilt it back, you can tilt it up, but you can also flatten it. So if you wanted to go to like a flat desktop view and you can use that, you'd really get low. And so you can hide the uh, all-in-one computer down into the counter. The second big upgrade with the new base is it also gives you the ability to do a wall mount or a vest mount without having to buy a separate bracket. So you can take it uh, and then there's mounting holes on the bottom with the normal VESA spots. So you can wall mount it without having to get a bracket. If you want to get it even more flush than this, they do make a dedicated wall mount bracket, but uh, the default base can convert into a wall mount pretty easily. It's also kind of nice that if you did mount it like this, you have the ability to sort of angle it, kind of like a big screen TV if you wall mounted that with one of those double hinge brackets. So the new base is definitely a big upgrade in addition to just slimming down the overall shape of the TP4. It uses a PCAP display. It's very uh, bright, it's very vibrant, uh, very receptive to it. Uh, it can do multi-touch if your software allows gesturing. So if you can enlarge a screen by like using three fingers or two fingers um, or swiping left and right. So it does multi-touch, which is, which is nice feature for point of sale if your software supports it. Not all software supports multifunction. The add-on is just like the old one. So here is an MSR for doing uh, older style credit card processing um, and it can snap just in and out and then there's screws that tighten it down. So you can field upgrade to an MSR or if you want to do a biometric reader, you could do that as well. The customer displays mount to the back of it. <laughs> And then you can get a um, regular two-line display or you can get an 8-inch LCD that mounts to the back of the all-in-one if you want to do something customer facing in a counter service or retail application. The standard ports available, you have your VGA port if you're going to add an 8-inch display uh, or just a completely separate monitor. We often have a separate 15-inch LCD monitor that people use as a media display. For their point of sale and then you have three com ports right here sandwiched between the two banks of usb ports here so the way that the serial ports work is that you have this extension cable so the extension cable is long enough that you can run it under the counter so it just has this long cord here so you can run it under the counter and then on the end here it looks sort of like an ethernet port and that just plugs straight in any one of the three serial ports there and then you have nine pin serial if you're going to be adding a scale or some kind of dedicated serial device. Your uh, ethernet port is right there if you're going to be doing standard uh, internet and then you have two more USB ports there and then your cache report is at the end if you don't have a printer and you need to open a cache drawer uh, then that's the cache report right there. One other thing to note on this unit is that one of the reasons that it's a lot thinner than the previous TP4 is that this is a fanless unit with all processors. There is, of course, the low power 
J1900 processor, uh, but even the i3s, the i5 processors don't have a fan. So it runs very quietly as well if you have a, um, a very quiet environment and you don't want the sound of a fan to kind of interrupt the atmosphere of it. For more information on the TV6 or to purchase, please visit us at poskies.com. Thanks.